So, this is y'all doing, right? I see Keanu Palmer sitting inside of me, along with many other people, bound to my soul. And see, the thing is, God told me that this woman is allowed to do all this stuff because the church keeps praying for her. She has people of church that she goes to, and they pray for her. They pray for her to get her protection. They pray to cover her so that she's not getting in trouble. They allow her to attach herself to me. I got one side of my face that's bigger than the other. I got all these people bounce my soul, Illuminati, elite, Freemasons, whoever they are, the elite, witches, sorcerers all over this place, bound themselves to me. And you got 14-year-old children who shot up schools and they're being held accountable. They're being tried as adults. And yes, they should be tried as adults if they committed a crime, I understand. But what I want is accountability. I'm tired of the fact that people are getting passed over and you pick and choose who you want to give justice to. When you're letting people commit crimes against other people and there's nothing being done about it. And I said it before, I've talked on this channel, I've given many evidence of what you all have done to me and my family. You have destroyed me and my children. You have destroyed our family. And I'm a little bit upset right now at God for allowing it to happen. He has not given me justice. I have not gotten justice. My children not, have not gotten justice. You all have destroyed our lives. Those who did this, they know who I'm talking to. Those who faithfully watch this channel, you sit here. I'm not talking about everybody. But I'm upset because there have been many people who have committed actual crimes against me and my family. You have committed crimes that are illegal. You have harassed me, you have stalked me, you have assaulted me, you have persecuted me, you have violated, sexually violated me and my children. You have attacked your, us on a relentless basis, consistent basis. You have covered up things, you have conspired together, committed organized crime against me and my children. And you have covered things up and had my children taken out of the home and had me removed out of the house saying I'm crazy. You have actually bound many people to me, even celebrities and entertainers are bound to my soul, stealing things from me, stealing my gifts and my talents. Things that God put inside of me. Raw natural ability and talents. The Lord told me all of this, and I'm really upset right now because everybody has had the chance and opportunity to take everything from me and my children, oppress us to the point we have nothing. You have all stolen from us and kept us from having anything, pretty much blacklisted us to the point where we really can't be productive or thrive. My daughter came home from foster care. They stopped her from going to school. They put up all types of blocks just to keep her out of college, but they did not want her to have anything. The Lord already let me know they were doing this because they were upset because they cannot keep her. So she can't do anything. She can't even go to a park. She goes to the street here in South Euclid. They harass us relentlessly. The city of South Euclid, who did not even want my son there. After I paid for him to have a pool pass, they didn't want him swimming there. They would attack him and attack me using sourcing witchcraft. This is what I'm talking about. You people can attack people. You can assault people on a daily basis. But a child is held accountable when they have a physical weapon or a gun and they shoot people. But you can use witchcraft and sorcery and attack people and do crimes and think it's okay because it's hidden. God sees all this, but he has not judged any of you yet. And this is what I'm getting pissed off about because I have been relentlessly tormenting me and my children. Now, the police just got through telling my daughter to leave the park in South Euclid. She can't be at the park. So what is she supposed to do with her life? I'm asking that question. What is a, 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 a special needs child who's 20 years old with the mind of a prior? She's young minded, but she likes to go to the park and get her little space. We sit her here. She's here in the house with us all the time or she'll go with my mom and go over her house so she can have something to do. I don't have anything to do with her. When I have my vehicle, I would take my kids' place and do things with them. But they have allowed a Satanist man from Freemasons to attack my vehicles, to attack my jobs, to attack me, to keep me from having money. And like I said, nothing has been done about it. You all can physically assault me, take everything from me, violate me, bind yourselves to my soul, cash your burdens from me. Got these two people who relentlessly attacked me, James Penny the Third and Kiana Lynette Palmer. But nothing has been done about them, along with everybody else who's helped them and covered for them. Like I said, this woman has the church praying for her. You're praying for her. You're strengthening the hands of evildoers. You know that this woman has not repented. You know she continues to use your prayers as a license to continue to do what she wants to do, even though it tells you you're supposed to turn away your wicked ways. Even though in the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek, keep, and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal the land. But you pray for her anyway. And she uses that as a scapegoat. Oh, well, she's mentally ill or this and that, but you won't go to God. And you love doing your crimes. You've committed crimes against me and my children. Stole everything from my son. There's plenty of evidence all over this channel. Gave everything to her son. Sexually violated my daughter. Cast her perverse spirits upon my daughter. Where my daughter now walks around looking like a tomboy wearing a hat over her head. Telling me she wants to be a transgender. She wants to change herself to a male now.
You can go back to old pictures of Kiana Palmer where she had a, that hat on her head and she was homosexual. I don't know what she was. I don't really care. But she acted like a tomboy. was talking about her, how everybody was saying she was masculine. But you put your demon spirits and your perversions off on my child and violate me and my children. She's also cast those burdens upon me. All of her perversions, these people have transferred their perversions onto us. You can assault us daily, but there's no justice for us. But you want to kick us out your neighborhood. All these people, you get to steal from us, take everything you want from us, and mistreat and abuse God's people. And God allows you to do this. I'm saying he allows it because he has not done anything about it yet. And I'm tired of it. I, everything I've done, I don't, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve it because my father did what he did. I don't, I don't care. I'm tired of being beat down by every damn body. I'm tired of having to take garbage off of people and I never get damn justice. And you have the audacity to try to kick me out of your city. After you all have taken everything, you were, you destroyed my child. My son was destroyed in the Richmond High School District. Then he was destroyed once again when he went to Mayfield High School District. He was destroyed in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania by the principal Christy Prime when he went to what Susquehanna Township School District and then had another... Uh, to Principal Carol Lopez out in Chambers Hill Elementary who attacked him. Everywhere he's gone, they have attacked my son relentlessly. And God has shown me significant evidence of they have destroyed my children at the hands of a Satanist and a leader of a Freemasons who wants to sit here and order these assaults against me and my children. You can think I'm crazy all you want. I don't care. I'm just tired of keeping my mouth shut and everybody's kicking me and my children out after you all have stolen everything from us. You have taken our lives. You have taken our looks. You have taken our gifts and our talents. You cast your burdens upon us every day. They've taken everything about us and we have nothing left. So we sit here. You want us to sit here in a house and suffer. You want us to sit in bondage and be ostracized and cast away after you have stolen everything from us. And I'm asking God to give me justice, but he's taking a long time and I don't get it. I don't get why he's allowing you to keep doing this. I'm very angry because I'm sitting here at the point where I'm sitting here and my kids can't do anything. You want them cast away like a little animal. They already stopped my son from going to the schools after Kiana Lynette Palmer got together with a source of her friends and admitted it on her own blog post and said she put out a spell against my son and had him uh, a case drawn against him where he ended up getting in trouble at his school after he was being relentlessly teased and bullied. And this is the problem. And that's why a lot of these parents should be held accountable when their children are bullying other kids because you don't teach your kids anything. You think it's okay because you're big bullies yourself. Just like you feel you can get away with what you want because of oh, your, your prestige or your power, your position or your money or how much you have. And then you send your kids to school. You don't teach them anything. I teach my kids. You send your kids to school to harass other people. But then when, when this child gets enough and they can't take it anymore and they want to take matters to their own hands oh you say oh well they need to be locked up or this or that but you can you can verbally you can have your children verbally assault someone psychologically abuse someone and torment them and harass them on a daily basis but there are no there are no consequences there's no consequences but you want to have a child ostracized now my child has been ostracized his life was cut off ever since that day and nothing has gotten better for him everybody has been allowed to cast their burdens when you think i don't know about that the lord already showed me there were grown men casting their burdens for my son this there's why a lot of these children are doing these things because people witches and sources are casting their burdens upon children instead of going to god for their own damn help and god is letting you walk around you're filthy wicked vile animals walking around mistreating children and so like i said my son has not even been able to do anything they don't want him in none of their schools they don't want him anywhere around any of their children they look at him like he's a criminal wherever he goes because they had his father oh, we, we don't talk about that they had his father bounds him and other people many men bound them souls to my children and so this is what we have to go through my kids have to sit in here in isolation i have to sit here in isolation we can't have anything you cast us off after you take everything from us we were brilliant people smart I can name some of the celebrities. I'm, I'm just waiting to get up some significant proof because I know a lot of your celebrities will be bound to me and God showed me to get them their help, get them whatever they need. You're buying all your people to me, but I don't have a thing. Ain't nobody paying me nothing. You're taking my talents, my gifts, my natural raw talents and abilities. I used to hear some beats. I can make up beats in my head and come up with a song. That's the type of talent that I had and I could just do it within what, five minutes. I can just, it would just come to me. I could play a whole song in my head. I used to be able to write books just like that. I could sit down and just start writing and it would just come to me. Everything would just flow. I didn't have to plan a, a premise or anything. I didn't have to plot nothing. That's the type of talent I had, raw ability and skills. I was highly athletic. I could just walk around. I, had, I was natural, raw muscle. I could lose weight at the drop of a dime and I could maintain that. But you all have swapped everything and stolen everything for your benefit. But now you want to take, as you've been taking everything from me and my children, my family. Oh, you want to cast us off somewhere. And God has allowed you to do this. This is why I'm pissed off. You can say whatever you want to say about me, but I know the damn truth and you know it too. But I'm asking God every day to give me justice because I'm fed up with the fact that everybody is casting my kids down. See, I can be alone. I'm okay, but these are children. These are young adults and young children. My son is 17 years old and he has to sit here isolated and alone. You cut off his life, kept him away from the children, kept him away from everything. This is how you treat people.
And I'm asking God, I don't know what's taking so long because I'm fed up that I see children every day, 11 years old, 12 years old, 14 years old, being put in jail, being put in prison, paying the consequence for their actions. But you allow people to rape my children, violate me, sexually assault us, use sorcery and witchcraft and cast spells upon my children, hold us on altars, trap our souls, steal everything from us, put their perverse spirits upon us, ask to project out of their bodies and do evil stuff to us, wicked things. And we ain't got no, we ain't got no justice yet. I'm sitting here walking around with a damn cane. Half the days I walk around with a cane, I'm in severe pain. When I do, when I have the, damn, the chance, when I'm able to exercise, I, I sacrifice so much, I have to hobble around for the rest of the day because my knees are all messed up because this man has destroyed my body. Put me on altars, banging in my knees, sending things to attack me and assault me and lacerate my ankles on a daily basis. I sit here being tormented, but I have not gotten any justice. But you have the audacity that you don't want my son to, to be around your pool in your neighborhood in South Euclid. You don't want my daughter to go to your little playground. You tell her she's not welcome here. Well, guess what, damn it? You're not welcome in my body, but you still bind yourself to my soul, ain't you? You still taking knowledge out of my brain. You just you siphoning whatever you want out of me, taking my stem cells and everything, my blood and my DNA, so you can use it without my permission. Yes, the Holy Spirit already let me know all this stuff is happening but you don't want to talk about that did you you know how much stuff you owe me in the spiritual realm because see that's why i told god all the harassments all the assaults all the attacks all the stalking sending roaches to appear out of nowhere coming up in my bathroom when i'm using the bathroom watching me undress i have a right to privacy but this is what you all have been doing you've been invading my privacy intruding upon my rights breaking my constitutional laws even though you don't consider us a citizen oh but you're, we're supposed to be a citizen According to the 14th Amendment, we're supposed to be citizens, right? But you have violated all of my rights. But you can sit here and tell my kids that they're not welcome in your playground, in your little park. But you have allowed your people to commit crimes against me and my family. You kept my daughter from going to school. You kept her from going to college. You kept her from thriving. What do you want us to do? You want us to roll over somewhere and just die for your pleasure? And I asked God over and over, but he's still giving you chances. I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Why he's allowing people who hate us to still bind themselves to us and take whatever they want out of us every day. I know he's waiting, but it's taking too long because we have suffered long enough and I cannot wait till he destroys all of you. I am so fed up with, with being involved in this whole situation. And he is coming back. I don't know when he's coming back, but I told him I'm tired of suffering. I am tired of suffering every day. I'm tired of bearing the shame, walking around with nothing while everybody's half their way with me. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care. Just don't keep taking from me. Don't keep casting your burdens upon me. Letting this wicked woman bind herself to my soul every day. Letting this wicked man torment me and my children. Letting all of you harass us and steal every damn thing from us. You took everything already. Following us around the stores. Even following my grandson around the park. We can't even go around the park. You all have taken everything from this family. You have devoured us. But you got the audacity. <laughs> Don't want us around your little cities and your little neighborhoods and your little communities. Like you done stole every damn thing from us. That's what I'm pissed off about. You got to steal whatever you want, took everything from us, our beauty, our looks, our hair, our, our knowledge, our athleticism, our DNA, everything. You've been stealing it for years, even while we're on the jobs. But you have the audacity to say, we're not welcome in your little community. You're going to tell my daughter, I'm, oh, she's not welcome there. Well, you don't have to worry about her ever coming to your park again. You don't have to ever worry about that, but I will be going to God every day about what you owe us. Because I'm fed up with how he has treated me, allowed you all to cast your burdens and your perversions upon me and my family. I've allowed you all to take everything from us and cast us down to nothing just because he loves you so much. But you're treacherous. That's the thing. You sit up in the church. A lot of you sit up in the church. You don't care anything about God. You have a respect as a person's. Because you have your little money and you have all you care about is the success and fame. You keep a strip in the hands of these evil doers. You break God's laws all the time. Then you cast your burdens upon people like me and think we're supposed to save you after you do all this evil stuff to us. But we have to walk around here and sit here with nothing. This is what I'm tired of. This is why I'm a little bit angry at God. I wish I had never would have signed up for this. When he said, oh, my people need saving. You didn't, he did not tell me the truth. I was misrepresented. He misrepresented himself and I was deceived because I would have never accepted this. I would have never accepted this calling. And I regret, that's the one thing I regret about accepting this ministry, whatever the hell this was, because this is not even a ministry. We have been just mistreated by people like you all. But you sit here and you let criminals run around here, the true criminals, the true criminals who are doing all the attacking and the oppressing, the true criminals who are putting people in bondage every day, but you want to cover up your shame, you want to cover up your sins and cast your burdens upon other people and get away with it with your little network. You run around and do whatever you want to do and oppress people every day. You're murdering, you're robbing people and extorting people and doing whatever you want to do. Violating people behind closed doors thinking, oh, because you belong to a certain affiliation, you, you belong to a certain group, you have a certain amount of money or a certain amount of status that you can get away with it. And I'm just so fed up with waiting for God to do something while we sit here and suffer every day. We have to suffer. 
We sit here with nothing. Look at me. He already showed me. I see it. Every time I look at myself, one eye bigger than the other, sitting here bound to my soul. Got all these people bound to me. They're bound. So many people he showed me. And I kept my mouth closed. I kept my mouth closed, just waiting for the right moment when I can just expose everybody. Collecting all the evidence that I need because I am so fed up. You have taken everything from this family. You have stolen so much from me. And I have not gotten a thing. Casting your burdens from me, using my gifts and my knowledge so you can get ahead. A lot of them are falling now, but it's just still not enough. When I'm being antagonized on a daily basis, we can't even have freedom and liberty. We can't even walk out in the community. We have to sit here shut in like animals with nothing just to appease you all.